Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Roman Reigns, head of the table, with his sweater gear. Uh, the Christmas sweater gear adds 175% damage to his health steal move and uh, makes it extremely beefy. So I'm going to run one move set for this just to show off the health steal and what it looks like. I'm running all health steal trainers. Um, if you don't have Rock or, or Daniel Bryan, he still st steals, Zombie Bryan, he still steals a bunch. Still steals a bunch. Um, you can do a lot of other substitutions. If you don't have Rock, you could put Steel on to start um, with the green MP filled right away. You could put Zombie Seth on if you want to destroy more. A lot of different ways you could go. If you don't have Zombie uh, Bryan, you can put uh, Zombie Finn on there. I have Zombie Roman on for kickout. Um, so really the idea with this build is you kick out of everything and you heal everything back. So you're going to pretty much end every match full life. And, uh, it makes him, it makes him extremely difficult to kill, right? Almost unkillable. So, uh, I'm going to go against Ivar on the road strap. Um, I don't have a good plate on for this. I'm sorry. I was messing with his botched build. Um, this is my own strap. Um, and I was messing with his botch build uh, last, so I don't have the strap parts to or the the parts to remove that right now and throw on like aftershock or two words for you. Um, and I have the red move damage metal on for this to buff the damage on both of those red moves. Um, you could use a flat red, a lot of different stuff. I do have double fury, so he can kick out. Um, and we're gonna go against Ivar on the road. Um, once Ivar gets going, he keeps going. He does a lot of pins. Uh, so hopefully he gets going in a hurry and pins me so you guys can see uh, just how little damage he takes. Um, so I'm using the spear, 5 MP green, deal 19k damage, choose 5 gems to destroy. Pump, handle, back, suplex, 7 MP red, deal 37k damage, choose a 3x2 area to make into trap gems. If broken uh, by you... Gain 5 red MP. If broken by your opponent, deal 75,000 damage. Then the Samoan drop, deal 45k damage, and steal up to 155,000 health. Entourage, like I said, we're going full health steal with one kickout guy. Um, and this is just so I can show off the power of the gear. I realize you could run this with the sub and, and the um, health steal, especially if you have the aftershock plate. Um, but the goal with this is just to show you guys how good the health steal is, so that's why I'm going to run this moveset. I do have tour perks plus three, uh, plus two on a match. I don't need the green to make it ready next turn, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna leave greens on the board, although the row break makes me think he'll probably take it anyway. Um, so I guess I will take it. So we need, um, three reds to fill our reds. So I'm going to go ahead and snag three reds. And I guess we will, we'll take a couple greens. Here's that health steal. You can see how hard it hits. 670,000 uh, pretty much health. Uh, it's still really beefy even without rock. Well over 400,000. So no big deal if you don't have rock. It's still super useful. I can run, I'll can. i run one without rock so you guys can see that too. Um, I can do that after this. Because I think that's worth showing for people that don't have zombie rock. Because he's pretty rare. So the idea is you just keep breaking your trap gems, right? Filling your reds and that sort of thing. Um, you can see when he breaks the trap gems, it definitely deals damage to him in a significant amount. We're just going to steal a bunch of health back. And the red move metal is giving us almost 100k base damage on this and 81k on this. Um, and then we're going to take our green swipe. And we only need two to fill it. So I'm not going to 
I want to leave it more trap gems on the board. Um, get Ivar to break them, hopefully. Okay, he's doing damage. This is what we want. Let's watch this health steal actually in action. You can say, see, we're staying filled up completely, no issues. Doing damage when he breaks those trap gems. And uh, with the boosted kick out of 80%, you can see... We have to kick out of a 545,000, 89k for each yellow, 130k for a red, and his primary color of green is 177k, so very easy to kick out. Um, let's leave reds and um, greens on the board if we can. There's not, yeah, there's a black here. There we go. Easy to kick out. Now we can do some things. We have the move loaded. Um, we can do quite a bit here. We break five greens, we refill that move, so we're going to go for five greens. And our life is back filled up. I'm going to try and get some cascades and see if we can't win here. If not, we'll win next turn. And you can see we're still full life after he... And my cats are making a big ol' boom. So you may have heard that, you may have not. So the matches are really easy to win. You win full life. It's not the fastest build set, but it's certainly... Um, and you kick right out, obviously, super easy. Certainly very easy to win and win full life, so hard to argue with the results in the end. And I'll uh, run the same set, except I will um, take out Zombie Rock. So you can see what the Hellsteel looks like without him. And we'll run it one more time. And I'll actually probably put Zombie Seth in just for more fun with the destroy. Like I said, you could st start to steal and start turn one, but it really doesn't matter because you're just going to heal it all back anyway. This build set is more about um, just getting going uh, and then continuing to go. And Seth will probably actually give us more options, add some more damage um, sort of thing. So we'll just do that. Maybe get some bigger pins. Um, possibly win without um, taking them down to zero because mostly with this build set or with the sub build set same thing with this uh, if you had the right skill plate you're basically just committing to draining their life completely so you have to know that ahead of time on the plus side you get more points in feud for draining their life on the downside it's slower right so um, six of this half a dozen of the other kind of thing red match I'll definitely take that So without um, without a zombie rock, you're still stealing 553,000 health. So it's really not as big a deal as you would think. In fact, you could probably get away without using any health steal trainer and do some interesting stuff as well. I think there's a lot to unpack here in different ways you could play it.
plus side now with this destroy is we can just do a lot. Um, easy to set up like a uh, match here so we get the green match that's going to refill our moves so I'm going to call that good actually. Oh, we cascaded. Okay. I didn't, if I had known I was going to cascade, I would have set up a bigger pin. But, um, you can just do a ton with this bigger choose destroy. I might even like this build set more, to be honest. Uh, let's put this here. We only need to destroy one to refill right here. All right. Let's put this here. And see what we can do. You definitely can do more damage um, that way. So I think there are times when you will be able to um, get the win without draining all their life with the bigger destroy on Seth. So I do think I do prefer that. Although you can see we're not using it every time when we're trying not to move the pin bar. So there is that as well. Let's get rid of his row breaks. Oops. I was thinking um, I had the destroy loaded, so no big deal, though. We got the red there, so. And we should probably be able to end this one next turn as long as we can get a pin. So I'm going to try and leave that row break for that reason. Beep. Yep, no problem at all ending it. So again, another full life win even without Zombie Rock, um, which is how pretty much all of this is going to go. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think another great addition in Gears, it, add, it gives... Uh, Head of the table, more options again. Uh, bring in the health steel bell, build back and, and viable. So let me know what you think in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. And enjoy your uh, Smackdown sweater showdown this weekend. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck out there.